Let me tell y'all, bro. This is me. There is a lot. I'm telling you, a lot of Jenna Ortega Sims out there, bro. There's this one guy in particular that this video was about. This one guy who is a problem. Nobody is as simpious, is as prestigious. Just, just begin the intro. This nigga is too powerful. He's got to be the biggest Jenna Ortega simp I've ever seen. Sensei, a straight menace to society. This is These Jenna Ortega Simps Must Be Stopped. Part 1. This video is not to tarnish anybody's reputation. This video is only for entertainment purposes and to bring the light to the situation of celebrity fandom. Your discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Jenna Ortega. Yo, so was Jenna Ortega's newfound audience from her hit show Wednesday, she has gained a lot of, let's just say, attention from the internet. What is going on? No, no, no. What? It's a metaphor. Hell, even Aiden Ross tried to holler at her. But not just Aiden Ross, even I Show Speed. Yo, big fan, big fan of Mike. Even with these large influencers trying to contact the celebrity with no response, nobody has came close like Manuel Boza. Manuel has been trying tremendously to get on the show Wednesday, and bro, I gotta say, I respect this man's perseverance. He was even able to ask Janora to take it out on a date, but sadly, he got rejected. God damn! At, at least, at least, bro tried though, bro. But let's talk about the product at hand. This guy has met Jenna Ortega's sister. What's up? He has written songs about her sister. She making lies of kisses all out across the line. Okay, he has made over 30 songs about Jenna Ortega. No running in circles, I see you, babe. I used a DJ in the early 2000s. This is Sensei KXLX. And bro, I'm not gonna hold back on you, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm gonna give my full thoughts on this dude in a minute, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you this. I fuck with your content heavy, bro. <laughs> Wait, listen, bro. I wasn't gonna come at you with no ill intent, bro. I understand the general Ortega sense. I'm a retired recipient, bro. I was there, her musically phase. Just found out my birthday is the same day as the day I was born. Life is crazy. <laughs> listen, bro. Listen, listen. Sorry for sensei, bro. I didn't want to come. I didn't want to come at you. Any ways ill intent, bro. This is just for the video. Oh, and bro, congratulations on 100k. Congratulations. But the remainder of this video is dedicated to Sensei, Manuel, Kid Law, and Breezy Biscuit. I'm saying all you guys' names for a reason. I want you guys in my movie. I'm looking to pitch a movie to Hollywood, and I spent two years on TikTok trying to build up my fan base to get I Show Speed and Jenna Ortega in a horror movie. This movie is called The Nightcrawlers, End of Revelation. Oh, 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 oh. I'm telling you, if Jenna Ortega and I Show Speed were in a horror movie, this would be the movie of the summer, this would be hype. I Show Speed already said he was down. Everyone live or do something to make speech to this very important. Been trying to contact I Show Speed to get him in a movie for Netflix. I just be noticing, boy, let's work. Yeah, bro, I'm down, bro. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. I'm totally down, bro. And bro, and bro, speaking of simps, the simp himself. Kyle Simpsalot is also down to be in the movie. Guys, I'm Kyle Simpson a lot. You probably know me from this song. So basically, this cool guy, Barry, wants me to be a part of this horror movie. I'm going to play the character Kyle Simpson. I'm not an actor. But imagine if these three could actually meet Jenna Ortega. Here's who I will have them as. 
The Kid Law will play as a Coaster Kingdom worker that straps up Amanda and Travion to get on their first Coaster Kingdom ride. Mr. Breezy Biscuit could be one of the survivors from Coaster Kingdom that is now on the charter bus. He's like 19 or 20, but he can definitely go for a teenager. Sensei will also be one of the survivors from Coaster Kingdom on that charter bus. For Manuel Boza, I'm telling you, he should possibly be a soldier that is trying to evacuate Coaster Kingdom. So Barry, Barry, what's the plan to action? How are you gonna get this made? For one, I gotta build my bread up. I gotta get a job, okay? Uh, I'm looking at working at Build-A-Bear. All right, so I'm gonna spend these next three to maybe two months of building up bread so I can possibly travel to LA and make the moves that I need to make. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't see the vision. For the people that don't see the vision, I advise you guys to check out this video. And if you guys stay for this long, Thank you for watching and thank you for staying, bro. You're all some real ones. You guys have a nice one. People who are going through something, if you got a goal in mind, you make sure you do it. You make sure you walk that path, go through the obstacles. Life's gonna kick you down. You always get up. You always get up and you keep walking. You keep hustling to that goal and eventually you will get it. I'm in that process right now. and. You're here to see it. I hope y'all enjoyed. And with that being said, I love you. And until later. But Sensei, over 30 songs? Oh, damn. I, just, I can't fucking compare. <laughs> well, I'm editing this shit. It's loud as hell. But nah, bro. I guess I'm going to have to do it, bro. I guess I'm going to have to make a song.